Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about designer compact wallets. With the mini bag trend still going so strong, and I absolutely love my mini bags, I do find that I reach for my compact wallets a lot more than my full-sized wallets. So I do own five designer compact wallets in my collection. So I thought I'd share my thoughts with you. So if you are looking for a versatile wallet that you can move from a bigger bag to a small bag without having to switch out of the wallet, then hopefully this video will help. Or if you just love watching wallet or SLG videos or just videos on luxury items in general, I hope you enjoy this video. So I'm going to be showing you the wallets in the order of my most favorite to my least favorite. And I'm also going to show you for each wallet how it fits into three of my smallest handbags in my collection. So hopefully this can be a good reference if you are trying to see how much room the wallet will take up in some of these mini bags. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and find it helpful and let's get started. So the very first wallet that I'm going to show you is my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in the Demia Azure canvas with the rose ballerine button and interior. This is my very favorite compact wallet. If you've been watching my videos for a while, this would come as no surprise that this is my favorite designer compact wallet in my collection. I really love how compact it stays even when you feel it full and you'll be really surprised how small this looks yet how much it can actually fit. So my particular one is in a bit of a lighter color so I'm sure it will show a bit of wear and tear after a little while. I've only had this wallet for six months and it's wearing really well considering how much I've been using it but if you are looking for a more carefree wallet that you can use every single day that will not show too much wear this particular wallet comes in so many different leathers and finishes so you can always opt for the darker canvas finishes like the monogram or the demi bin. It also comes in the patent vernier leather and the emprunt leather which has a beautiful pebbled finish as well so if you don't want to worry about wear and tear at all then you can always opt for the darker colors. So let me show you the wallet in detail so it has a snap button and when you turn it around it's just one continuous piece of canvas and when you open the wallet it shows that beautiful rose ballerine pink lining. I am in love with this pink color. It is just so girly and beautiful. So although I was quite worried about color transfer and the lighter color getting dirty easily, when I saw this color, it was just absolutely beautiful that I just gave in and picked this one up. So when you have a look at the interior, it's got the vertical card slots, which is really easy to access your cards. You have six credit card slots, so three on this side, three over here. It's also got two slip pockets, so one behind this section here and another slip pocket behind this section here. So I've got about eight credit cards in this wallet at the moment. It's got a large bill compartment here, so you don't actually have to fold your bills, which is what I absolutely love about this wallet. It is such a small compact wallet that stays really thin and compact in your handbag, but at the same time, it has all of the features of a larger full-sized wallet. And my favorite thing is that you don't actually have to fold your bills and you can just lay your bills flat. I've only got one $20 note in there, but sometimes when you have a little bit of cash, this comes in really handy that you don't have to fold them. And it's also got a zipped coin compartment. I don't typically put my coins in there unless I'm in a rush. I do usually carry around a separate coin purse, but I usually use this zipped compartment for extra rewards cards and coffee cards and things like that. So if you were wondering, you can actually fit credit card sized cards in there, which comes in really handy if you've got extra rewards cards. So this wallet is really, really functional. I highly recommend it. The price point is really good as well for a Louis Vuitton wallet. This I paid 670 Australian dollars and for the leather versions, you pay a little bit extra. I did look into the emprunt leather version as well, which is about $200 more, but I definitely think it is worth the money. Now I'm gonna show you how this fits in some of my mini bags and how much space you have remaining after you fit this wallet in. So I've got the three smallest handbags here that I've got in my collection to show you how the wallets fit into them and how much room you'd have left after fitting the wallet in. So the very first bag is my Chanel Square Mini in the black lamb skin. This is probably the smallest handbag in my collection apart from the wallet on chain styles. And here is my Victorine wallet. Let me just pop that in. Actually, I've got a mini hand cream in there at the moment, but um, this is how the Victorine wallet fits into this bag. 
Here you go. And you've still got quite a bit of space around it to put a couple of lip glosses and your phone in there. And after fitting the wallet in, you've still got plenty of space for your phone, a couple of lip glosses and your car key as well. And I have carried that much in this handbag before. So I know for a fact that those items will fit in this bag with no problems with this wallet in it. Next up is my Chanel Rectangular Mini. From my experience, this bag has slightly bigger capacity than the Square Mini um, and you can fit your items a little bit more easily. So here is the wallet again and it pops in really easily and as you can see you've got heaps of space still around the wallet for your phone and you can actually fit all your other little items next to the wallet. So this wallet fits really easily into the rectangular mini as well. And lastly, I've got my Gucci Mammoth mini camera bag. And again, the wallet pops in with no problem at all. And this bag is actually a little bit bigger than the Chanel minis. So if the wallet fits into the Chanel minis, I know that the wallet will actually fit into this mini camera bag. But I wanted to show you how the wallets fit into this particular bag as well because it is the smallest bag of a different style. So this bag is slightly bigger than the Chanel mini bags, but I wanted to show you how the wallets fit into this mini bag as well because of the zip opening. So sometimes the wallet can sort of struggle to get in and out through the zipper opening. So I wanted to include this bag as well in my demonstration. So with the Victorine wallet, it fits really easily and the access is really easy as well. My second favorite compact wallet is also from Louis Vuitton and it is this Zippy coin purse in the vernier leather and my particular one is in the color Amaranth. Before I got the Victorine wallet, this was my go-to wallet. I've always preferred compact wallets over the full-sized wallets because of their versatility. So before I got the Victorine wallet, this was my everyday wallet that I used for probably probably two years non-stop and I hadn't felt the urge to buy a wallet for a really long time after having this one because I was so happy with it. So it is slightly smaller than the Victorine wallet. So I'm going to show you side by side the size comparison. So it is a more compact sized wallet and technically it is a coin purse. So it is a little bit smaller as you can see. So this is definitely a really compact wallet, but it does also fit a ton of things in as well. So you'd be really surprised how much this little thing can hold. So when you open it up, you have two credit card slots on each side. So you've got two here and two down the bottom here as well. It's got a slip pocket at the back here and another slip pocket on the other side as well at the back there. And you've also got a middle slip pocket so you can fit about seven credit cards with no problem. And you've got two large compartments here where you can fit all your coins and you can fold your bills and fit quite a bit of cash as well. And that is the only con that I would say about this wallet is that you do have to fold your bills to fit them in. But nonetheless, it does fit a lot. So you can fit a lot in there. And because it is a zip around wallet, everything is super secure in there. So I find the Zippy style wallets to be the most secure and you can also stuff a lot of things in there because the zipper is a lot stronger in holding the wallet closed than a snap button. This wallet also comes in a lot of different materials and variations and colors as well. So it does come in the monogram canvas, Demia Abin canvas and the Azure canvas as well. And it comes in a lot of different leather finishes and colors as well so that you can definitely find something that suits your style and aesthetics. So if you do carry a lot of cash with you, then this wallet might become slightly frustrating because you always have to fold your bills and unfold to pay for things. But if you are like me and you do prefer to pay with cards, then this wallet will be perfect for you. The other great thing about this wallet is the price point. So this wallet in a canvas finish runs for about $500. So considering how functional it is and how much you can fit in it, I do think that it is really good value for money. And after two years of use non-stop this wallet has held up so beautifully with no visible wear and tear at all so I really feel like you do get a lot of bang for your buck so the only wear and tear that I can see is a little bit of wear and tear on the zipper pull there where the gold color has scratched off a little bit. But other than that, it is still in great shape. So this is a great wallet. So I am sure you can guess how well this wallet fits into all my mini bags, but I still want to show you because it is always good to visualize. So here is my square mini again. 
and the wallet fits beautifully and as you can see there is a lot more room around the wallet than when I fit the Victorine wallet in it and I also wanted to show you with the square mini because it does have a bit of a height to it this CP coin purse can actually fit long ways as well so let me show you how it fits vertically if you do have a few more things to carry and you want to organize your bag differently the wallet can also fit vertically as well because it is a smaller wallet and the bag closes with no problem even with the wallet standing on its side and I'll show you how the wallet fits into the rectangular mini as you can imagine it fits perfectly with so much space around it there you go I actually haven't tried to fit it vertically in the rectangular mini before but let me just try so it does stick out a little bit but there is a bit of a space between the flap and the body of the bag. So let me see if I can actually close it. The wallet actually does fit on its side in the rectangular mini as well, as you can see. So that's another good thing to know. So if you do want to fit a few more things around the wallet, I think this is really handy to know as well. And of course, I'll show you how the wallet fits into the Gucci Mini Marmont camera bag and it fits with no problem at all. And the wallet fits really easily through the zip closure of the bag as well. The next wallet is actually from Chanel and this is an old style. So this is the Chanel Classic small wallet, but it is not the current model. I'm not sure whether they make this style anymore, but I bought this about seven years ago when I first started working as a reward to myself for having my first proper job. So this was pretty much my very first luxury wallet and I used it to death. It is in the red lamb skin and there was a funny Korean myth that your wallet should be in the color red because it does bring money into your wallet. Yeah, very superstitious, but it is a thing that they say so I picked this red one and I absolutely love pops of colors as well so how could I resist this wallet because it is in the lambskin it didn't hold up as well as I hoped that it would but also I have thrown this around for a good three years before I bought my next wallet so it has done me very very well but I have retired this wallet but it is such a good compact wallet so you've got two openings so this is the main area where you put all your cards in so when you open it up like this oh look how well loved it is so the card slots go in this way so you've got three card slots on each side and a slip pocket at the back here and another slip pocket at the back there as well this wallet is made in Spain and it's got a large bill compartment as well so again you don't have to fold your bills so that is beautiful and I really love this whole double flat design as well so the coin section is actually on the other side of the wallet, on the back side. I've still got some random coins in there, I think. But um, yeah, so that is where you house all your coins and you can fit quite a bit of coins in the back section there. So this is an old style, but I absolutely love this style and I really wish that they still had these wallets. So when you fill this full, you can still fit this into a lot of different small handbags and I definitely enjoyed this. So if you can find one pre-loved, I really recommend this wallet. So again, let me show you how this fits. So here is my square mini again. And any wallet that fits into my square mini perfectly, I feel like fits really well in my other bag. So still got quite a bit of space there. And next up, my rectangular mini. Again, a lot of space around the wallet in the rectangular mini size as well. And lastly, the Gucci camera bag. And again, the wallet fits really easily and there is still heaps of space in the bag. And just for a quick size comparison, when you compare it to the Victorine wallet, so they're about the same height. The Chanel slightly taller maybe, but then the Victorine's a little bit longer. So there's the size comparison. And in terms of width, they're about the same. The second last wallet that I'm going to show you is my Louis Vuitton Capucines Compact Wallet. I have done a full review on this wallet and if you've seen that review, you know how much I absolutely adore this wallet. The only reason this wallet is at number four for this video is because of its slightly larger size. 
so it doesn't fit into the smaller handbags as easily as some of the other wallets that I've already showed you but nonetheless it does still fit into the mini bags and it is still considered a compact wallet so as much as this is my absolute favorite wallet by aesthetics and quality and everything like that for the purposes of this video where we are discussing the best compact wallets this didn't quite make the first place or the second or the third. But nevertheless, this is a beautiful wallet and I absolutely recommend it to anyone who is looking for a medium sized wallet that is not too compact, but something that is slightly more roomy. And if you don't carry a lot of really tiny mini bags, then this is still compact enough to fit into all your smaller bags. Let me show you this wallet up close quickly. So it is in the Torilon leather. It does only come in this leather finish, which is the same leather finish as the Capucine's bag from Louis Vuitton, but it does come in a few different colors. So it comes in the red and um, Magnolia, which is a light pink, and it comes in a navy as well at the moment. But who knows in the future, they might actually do more colors but it has this beautiful LV plate at the front with the matte black finish and gold around it. And that's where the snap button is underneath the LV logo. So you open the wallet like so. And the interior of the wallet is in this gorgeous hot pink color. You have four credit card slots vertically. I absolutely love the vertical card slots. Really easy to access your cards. You've got four credit card slots over here as well. And you do have two slip pockets again. So one here and another one behind this section here as well. This wallet also has a large bill compartment, so you can actually fit a lot of bills in there. And it does have a separate coin compartment as well. I've actually got the care booklet in there, but that is the coin section in there. You can fit a few coins, but again, it doesn't fit too many coins. The only con in terms of the layout of the wallet is the access to your bills. Because it is a slightly bigger wallet, I find that when I'm trying to access bills this way, I do have to stretch my hands quite a bit to actually grab the wallet like this. And sometimes the bills are all the way down the bottom, so you do have to reach your hands a little bit deeper into the wallet. So access wise, that is probably the only con. Other than that it is such a beautifully constructed wallet it is so luxurious and it has shown to wear quite well as well so this wallet is another great compact wallet option that will fit quite a lot of things and just like the Victorian wallet even when the wallet is full it does stay very slim so if you are looking for something a little bit more luxurious that's not as common as the canvas wallets or the zipping coin purse that a lot of people have then this is a really great option as long as you're not looking for something really tiny I think that this is a great option and this wallet at the moment retails for thousand one hundred and ten Australian dollars which is quite a bit of money for a wallet but you can really feel the difference in quality when you compare this to the Victorine or the Zippy coin purse so I absolutely recommend it but I am going to show you that it is going to be a bit of a tight squeeze into the mini bags so here is the square mini again and this wallet does definitely fit into the square mini but as you can see, it takes up about half of the available space. And because of its length, you don't have any space lengthwise around the wallet. So you can only fit other items behind or in front of it, but it does fit. And then I've got the rectangular mini again. It does fit slightly better, but again, you don't have a lot of space remaining. But nevertheless, it does fit very comfortably. So you can still fit your phone and your car key and maybe one lip gloss in there. Now with the Gucci Mamont Mini, this is where the zipper opening can actually start scratching the wallet. So when you put it in, especially when the bag is full with other things, sometimes you can't fit it straight like this when the bag is full, you actually have to fit the wallet this way and then straighten it out. So when this bag is full, taking this wallet in and out can be quite cumbersome through that zip mouth opening of the bag. So in this particular bag, because this bag is a zip closure bag, sometimes the wallet can get stuck under the lip of the bag, just in there. 
so that is one thing that I've noticed but other than that little excess problem the wallet fits quite well in this small bag as well and for a quick size comparison the Capucine's wallet is slightly longer than the Victorian wallet but they're pretty much the same height they are both quite compact so now onto my least favorite luxury compact wallet and it is the Chanel Classic Small Wallet. It pains me to say that it is my least favorite because it is absolutely beautiful and so classic looking and it looks so cute with all the classic handbags from Chanel. But I do find this wallet to be quite bulky, especially when you fill it full. So as you can see, it is really, really pretty and it does have a flat opening again so when you open it up first of all the card slots go sideways this way and especially when you're trying to access cards from this side where the flap flops over it is sometimes really difficult to take the cards out of the slots and then it's got two slip pockets behind the card slots i'm not a huge fan of this whole open thing it makes a wallet look quite clumsy and then it's also got a bill compartment at the back as well so i'm not a huge fan of how the interior is laid out but because it just looks so pretty and that's probably why i bought it but after using it for a couple of months i really realized that i don't really enjoy this interior style and there is a coin section at the back of the wallet and it is a zipped compartment and this compartment is actually quite small and it is really stiff and it is actually quite difficult to access your coins so this is also not a very functional coin section but I suppose it does help that you can fit some coins in there so in terms of design and functionality this is just not a very functional wallet it does also cost about 1120 Australian dollars for that price point I do believe that you can do a lot better than this wallet it is all personal preference but I personally found this to be not as user-friendly and it becomes really bulky which defeats the purpose of having a compact wallet so I would prefer some of the other options that I've already discussed over this wallet and again I'll show you how this wallet fits into my mini bag so the Chanel Square mini fits in with no problem but because the wallet is bulky it does eat up a bit of space here is the rectangular mini again again it fits quite well and lastly I'll show you how the wallet fits into the Gucci Mamont mini and this actually fits quite well in the Gucci Mamont Mini because it is a shorter wallet widthwise. So it fits with no problems through the zip closure there. And there's still a ton of space around the wallet. So that is it for this video guys. So they were the five designer compact wallets in my collection. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you are looking for a small designer wallet to fit into your small bags. Do let me know which one of these was your favorite or if you do have a favorite compact wallet that you'd like to recommend as well. I love hearing your opinions as well as always. So do let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I can't can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys. You're my bitter one taking me home. One thing you really do one. Say that you don't wish, but I don't know. Is that true?